I wanted to duplicate the exact shape of Matthias Wandel's ukulele, so I projected it on a piece of paper and made it the right size and then drew the outline of it. Then I drew rectangular lines to the curve, which was very helpful as I had played the eyeballing game very often. So I could determine the evolute of the curve and the bending radiuses and transform them into the curvature, which is the reciprocal value of the bending radius. The computer formed this curve of it and drew me the shape only by using step by step the curvature of it. Here is the curvature multiplied by 1.2 20% more the bending model. I compared it with the original size and the original form and I found that I had some uh, not so good fit. Here it fitted well, but I had two points where it didn't fit at all. So I thought I would just make another try with cutting the form out of thick paper and measuring the bending radius again with a little device I made. With my workshop being miles away and under construction, I only had uh, paper to do this, so I had a, a little uh, calibration tool for it with defined radiuses and I was able to calibrate it so that I could use this tool to determine the curvature of the ukulele form. I only had to uh, do it for the inward bending with a piece I had cut away before. So I got a new measurement and compared it to the old one and astonishingly it didn't vary so much but as I had smoothed out this by a curve I hadn't paid enough attention obviously to some details here and here they weren't obviously measuring errors, but they were there on purpose. Oh, and I forgot, I uh, changed the sides of the diagram. Then I tried to uh, draw a better approximation of the curve uh, with the maximum and the minimum in it here, and then I uh, did that in the computer again, maintaining this maximum and especially this uh, minimum. There is a, a remarkable uh, turn here, but it, it's not so bad because it's near zero curvature and it's on the point where the curve turns from left to right and no one could see that here is not exact a um, smooth uh, transition of the curvature. So that's okay and that's okay. The computer drew it again and you can recognize here the maximum, the minimum and again the maximum of curvature. Again inside there is the 20% increased curvature. I compared it again with the cutout model and it fit very well. Last thing I did was the same procedure with this model from Matthias Wandel where he had uh, put some circular arcs together at uh, this and this and this these two points and I determined the bending radiuses and uh, again 
I calculated the curvature of it. This is the plot of the computer. The computer drew this line, this outline of the ukulele. It obviously doesn't fit so good, and that's because it's only made of circular arcs, as you can see. And this curve is obviously more smooth. Oh, and here is a little error. I had accidentally set the increased curvature to 200%, though uh, this is probably not practical anymore.